So when it comes to overcoming procrastination, recently I made some videos and it's about the way in which we use plans. And my take on this is that planning is very overrated in terms of its helpfulness, this tendency to create big elaborate plans for ourselves. And some people asked, well, does that mean I can never have a plan? I should never draw up a to-do list for myself, completely wing it. And I, I did want to make a video on that because I just want to clarify that. It's not about never making a plan. The problem with the planning, as I see it, is it, I, I said in, in, in a recent video that making plans is a coping mechanism. And you'll notice that you're making plans very often when you feel out of control. You feel that sense of, you know, things are slipping away and things are getting chaotic. Things are too overwhelming. I'm so confused. I'm lost. I'm stuck. I need a plan. I need a plan, right? We turn to the plan. We make this big elaborate plan. And it helps to make us feel somewhat better when we make the plan. So in that sense, it's a coping mechanism. Now, what I'm saying is basically, instead of that plan, we start to use decisiveness and we also focus on learning to calm the nervous system down. Okay, so primarily it's like, this is such a, an easy thing to overlook, the need for calmness in the body. Now, the plan is a very ineffective way to do it. There's a much more direct way to do that. Uh, and it is to, to proactively send safety signals to yourself that everything's okay. I know that sounds very simple, but that is very, very important here. The problem with the plan really is that it's a substitute for that. Actually, I'm okay. Actually, I'm safe. Actually, I'm not gonna lose control. I'm not gonna get overwhelmed. I'm perfectly safe. This is the way we want to proactively create a sense of safety in the body. It makes it a lot easier to be productive and to take care of things and go about our day. And that's a very sort of a embodied thing. It's, a, it's taking it to just taking a deep breath sometimes. Okay, I'm safe. Constant reminders of this. The, the planning thing is all up here, problem solving, trying to figure things out. And sometimes it, it's it, the problem with that is it takes forever. You could sit down and you're like two hours in trying to construct this plan. Now, I'm not saying that you don't have a to-do list. Technically speaking, you can have a to-do list. There's nothing wrong with having a to-do list. But my feeling on it is that it should be almost just like it shouldn't even take that long, right? It should be like, yeah, here's a few things that I'm thinking about. But I wouldn't make it a to-do list or a have-to-do list. I would almost see it as just a um, reminder list, right? And it's not about the how to get it all done list. The, the bigger problem is that we go into, well, okay, here's a number of things that need to be done. How? That's the real problem. How am I going to do it? And the plan will dissect it, it'll break it down, it'll strategize, it'll say, well, I do this here, and then later I'll do this, and then after that I'll do this. And the nervous system just hears the how, and it goes, no, you're not, not gonna happen. So again, it's okay to have the things written down somewhere, if you like. You can even have written down somewhere what your preferences are, or what your needs are, what you would like to see happen or even better than any of those things is a vision for yourself, a vision. That would be another alternative, maybe a better alternative to having a big elaborate plan drawn up. What do I see? Now again, the vision, almost by definition, is not about how or when or where even. It's not about those things. It's about seeing something that you want to have materialized for yourself and not worry so much about the planning or the, the how the how it's going to happen. I'll tell you how, how it's going to happen. I'll tell you exactly how it's going to happen by doing one thing at a time. 
that's exactly how it will happen. It's not complicated. Through decisiveness. Through identifying, okay, the real important thing here, actually it's not even productivity. It's not even materializing the vision. The real important thing for you is self-respect. Safety messages. Not overwhelming your body and your nervous system and your mind. Not overwhelming them, right? And you will find you are completely naturally productive. And again, to reiterate what I said recently in, in a different video, when you have a day like this, your experience is going to be, oh, interesting. Wow, look at that. Look what I did. So interesting. I just did a lot of things today without a big elaborate plan of how it was all going to happen. You just do one thing at a time. And I want to repeat what I said earlier also in this. What about after I do my first thing? Okay. What about, well, then what will I do? That doesn't exist. There is only the next thing that I'm doing. I'm going to be super decisive with it. I'm going to identify when it's going to be done. I'm going to pull the trigger on that. After that, um, nothing exists. Doesn't exist. Doesn't interest me. I can't do anything about it. You don't have enough information to fully understand it. We don't know. All we know is right now, this is my decision. And I'm going to do something that's going to be easy. It's not going to overwhelm me. And I'm going to let the plan for this day reveal itself to me. Rather than me determine what the plan should be. Fail to execute it and then beat myself up about it. This is done with a an energy or a sense of freedom. It's done with a, an openness. So, yes, you can have things written down. You can have, you could call it, I call it like a, a box of preferences, you could call it, okay? It would be nice. These are some things that are on my mind. Someone mentioned in the comments, um, I have to get my oil changed and I have to, um, you know, do practical things like this. It's fine having those written down somewhere as reminders. But the only way any of them will ever get done, whether it be those sort of daily basic tasks or big life goals, the only way it's ever going to get done is to be present. And that is to be with one thing. Because that's all you can ever be, is be with one thing. And your nervous system will thank you for that. Because it, when it hears these plans, in the moment it makes it feel, well, okay, there's a control at least. I feel a control. But later when it comes to executing it, the nervous system will say, oh, hang on a second. That's too much. And it's going to shut down. So again, this is about training ourselves, training the mind, training uh, to be in a different mindset, different mentality around how does productivity actually work when I stop talking about hustle and pushing myself and self-discipline and willpower. None of those things work. And I'm glad they don't work because it sucks when you try that. It's not fun. So I hope that's a useful reminder. I hope that answers some of those queries. If you want, you can check out my book. It is called Procrastination Decoded. And I'm also working on a new book. Um, but I'm not too sure when that will be ready. But uh, I won't say much more about that for now, but I am working on a new book. But... Um, I hope this was a useful video, and if you liked it, hit the like button. You can share it with a friend that you think is struggling with this issue of feeling overwhelmed and being stuck, and thank you for watching. It means a lot to me. Take care. See you soon.